We're currently living in the age of AI agents, automating tasks as well as accomplishing complex workflows faster than ever, especially with the help of powerful SDKs and agent toolkits. That's why today I'm going to showcase how you can supercharge your AI agents by integrating Clerk into your workflows using their new agent toolkit. Whether you're building with Vercel's AI SDK, Langchain, or even running local MCP servers for tools like Cloud Desktop or even Cursor, this toolkit gives you your agent the ability to securely access real user data, managing sessions, and operate with full context, just like a real assistant. For those who are unfamiliar with Clerk, it is a complete suite of embeddable UIs, flexible APIs, and admin dashboards that help you authenticate and manage your users with ease. And now, Clerk has launched their very own experimental agent SDK that lets your AI agents plug directly into real user data, securely and contextually. Whether you're using Langchain, Versal AI SDK, or Cloud Desktop, this Clerk agent toolkit is going to expose scoop tools for managing users, organizations, and invitations directly in your agent workflow. For example, using this toolkit with Cloud Desktop, your local Cloud instance can then stream responses powered by real-time data from Cloud's backend, like fetching user details, counting organizations, or sending invites, all without needing to manually query a database. This means your AI agents can reason over and act on live user data securely with full context, making them incredibly powerful for administrative tasks, customer service, or internal tools, or no more digging around through spreadsheets or internal dashboards to look up account infos or ID numbers. And in this case, you can see that it's able to refer to the correct tools that were needed within Cloud itself. And with this toolkit, you have so many cool features, the ability to be supported with Versal AI's SDK, as well as Langchain support. You have local MCP server support where it can be integrated into clients such as Cloud Dev. You also have session context injection, which is where you can get the ability to claim the user ID, session ID, as well as the org ID into a system prompt for contextual awareness. And then you also have scooped helpers. Now, something cool to note is that OpenAI's SDK support will be coming soon, and that is going to be a game changer for this toolkit. And guys, to get started, it's super simple. You can easily install this with a single line of code after you have installed NPM, and you can go into your command prompt and simply paste this in and install the toolkit. Within a couple of seconds, you will have this toolkit fully accessible as it can easily install the packages and you can easily get started with it. And what's even crazier is that with just a few lines of code, you can pass authenticated user data and tools into your agent response pipeline. It's quite clean, which you can see over here, scoped and works quite well with any open AI compatible model. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now to demonstrate this in action, what I'm going to be doing is showcasing how the Clerk Agent Toolkit enables a regular AI chatbot to store and retrieve user specific memory just like ChatGPT's memory feature using a real authenticated user data. They have this example repo, which I'll showcase how you can set up and how you can actually use this agent toolkit in action. Make sure you have Git installed because we're going to be using that to clone this repository. Go into the repository with the link in the description below and click on the screen button and copy this repository link. Once you have done so, head into your command prompt and type in git clone and paste in the link and click enter. So we'll clone this repository and now what we're going to do is open up our IDE to configure the environment variables. In this case, I use VS Code to open up the folder and to do so, just click on file and click on open folder and then find the folder that you just cloned. Once you have opened it up, you head over to the .env file, right click on it, click on rename and take out the .example and put .local. Once that is done, you then want to configure your API keys. Don't worry, I'm going to change all this up afterwards. And then you can click on file and click save after you have pasted in your keys. Then next, what you want to do is run the pnpm install command to install the dependencies within the actual directory. You want to type cd agent toolkit 
dash example and click enter. Once that is done, paste in the pnpm uh, install command, which will then work on installing the dependencies. After it has finished installing the dependencies, run the pnpm dev command. So this will start the deployment server and you can easily do this within the command prompt by pasting in this command and it's going to then start up within our local host, which you can then now copy this and then paste into your browser and click enter. Now you're going to be able to access this chatbot. Now, essentially, this is where we are trying out this example where it is not just a bot to generate answers. It is something that is going to remember what you said. So it's going to update your clerk user metadata using the clerk agent toolkit that we had introduced at the start. And it's going to have it so that whenever you ask, it will know about you and it's going to pull the data back in real time with the clerk backend that we have. So once you have signed up or logged in with the clerk authentication system, you're going to be then sent over to this page where you have the ability to choose between the Bristol AI SDK or Langchain SDK. So if you click on it, you're going to be then able to access Langchain chatbot. And this is where you can run into asking it anything. So you can say something like, I like surfing and you can send in this prompt and the bot is actually going to store this as a metadata so you can see that i have entered this prompt in and it replied back with great i've updated your interest to include surfing if there's anything else you would like to share or ask feel free so in this case i'll just simply follow up with this question what do you know about me and i'm going to send in this prompt and let's see what the actual bot is capable of doing so in this case Based off of my user profile, which is world of AI, my email address, it is going to then provide an answer and say that this user likes surfing. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me or share, tell me more. So that is just insane because this bot doesn't just generate answers. It remembers what you said and it updates your clerk user metadata using the clerk agent toolkit. So when you ask it, it will know about you and it's going to pull the data back out in real time. And if you want to take a look within the root, you're going to be able to see that this is where the clerk agent tools are actually wired. Right here, we import the clerk agent tool, the create clerk tool set, which is a function that's going to give your AI agent secure access to the clerk backend where it's going to access the user data, the organizations or the invitations. So for example, within the actual Versal AI SDK, I can ask it, what do you know about my account? And it's going to list out the reference for the authentication system that I have. And this is by referring to the clerk tool set from the actual Asian tool set that is set. And it's able to inject the signed in user's context, like the actual session ID, the user ID, the metadata, and the prompt pipeline. So this demo basically shows you that by combining clerk's agents toolkit with any sort of AI SDK like Langchain or Vercel's AI SDK, you're going to be able to make your agent not just smarter, but more personalized, secure, and context aware. So in this case, you saw that my agents were able to respond better within this chatbot itself. So how do you implement this agent toolkit within your own project? Well, there is a reference guide, which I highly recommend that you read through. And it talks about the API references where you can import the paths for the agent toolkit itself and the different methods that are available to access different tools. Now, what we're going to do next is showcase the MCP specific methods, but just to reiterate, you have the ability to have it so that you can use this within Versal AI's SDK and it showcases how you can set this up with the following code snippets and how you can even set this up using Langchain. Now to have the toolkit readily available and accessible through these different integrations and clients like Claude Desktop or Cursor, you're going to need to have it connected to the MCP server. And this is to easily call the real clerk API tools through the tool calls. Now, the reason why you do this is because it lets you use this within these different clients securely to talk to external tools through this unified function calling interface. And to get started, it's super simple. What you'll need to do is simply provide the clerk secret key as an environment variable, or you can use the secret key as an argument. So what you can do is simply copy this command after you have pasted in your API key your clerk secret key and then go into your command prompt and paste this in and now to run the clerk agent toolkit as a local mcp i'm going to paste in this mpx command to then have it so that it runs the actual toolkit with an mcp server and once you have 
started the actual local MCP server, you can then head over to the Cloud Desktop app. And what you want to do is click on File and you want to click on Settings. And then once you have gone through the settings, you want to again head over to the Developer tab and click on Edit Configurations. And within the Cloud Desktop config file, you want to open this up with an IDE. And once you have opened it up, what you're going to need to do is you're going to add the following to your Cloud Desktop configuration. But in this case, you want to make sure that you provide your secret key over here. And once you have done so, I'll showcase how it actually looks. This is essentially how it should look with your secret key over here. And then once you have uh, finished adding it, you can click on save. And now within the app, you should be able to access it and run the different tool calls. And afterwards, you can open up the Claude desktop app and you can go into the developer section and see that the clerk MCP is running. Now you can close this and you can now ask it anything like asking it to securely call your clerk tools like the get uh, user updated metadata or ask it, what is my email? And you can send this in powered by the Claude Sonnet 4 and it's going to be able to use the MCP and extract the contents that is necessary. And Overall, it's going to then get the metadata that is uh, infused within the clerk backend and provide the answer. And there we go. Just like that, we got our name, our email address, the username, the user ID, profile image, a couple other things. Don't worry, this is a fake number. Go ahead and call it if you want. But that is essentially how I was able to connect the MCP server that clerk uh, provides, connecting the toolkit to different integrations like the Cloud Desktop app. And you can even do this with something like Cursor. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And that's basically it, guys, for today's video on the Agent Toolkit. You can run it locally with an MCP, and you can easily integrate it and supercharge your AI agents with a few lines of code. This is where your AI can now manage users, orgs, invites directly through natural language, making these internal tooling processes and automations a whole lot smarter. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the second channel, as well as joining our newsletter and Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.